The purpose of the GeoBase program is to enable location intelligence for installations and combat support. Making maps, making products, and taking that information and, and using it all together to provide analysis, develop plans, give situational awareness, even to what we can't see. Making the invisible visible. I've been with the Air Force for over 31 years. Currently assigned to the AFCAC Planning and Integration Directorate as the Air Force Geobase Program Manager and the Geo Integration Officer. The reason the Geobase Program was set up was to actually save resources. So they have the data they need, the tools they need, the processes they need to be able to execute their specific mission at the installation. GeoBase is a mission enabler, bringing that location intelligence to support planning efforts and actually using that information of geography and built in natural infrastructure to bed down troops at a known airfield, an unknown airfield, new aircraft, F-22, C-17s, or even the future of fighters and bombers. It also allows us to do analysis and relationships of environmental efforts. Uh, before Hurricane Michael uh, hit Tyndall Air Force Base, we began to uh, identify, obviously within hours or days beforehand that it was coming. We began to gather information about the installation and collect archived imagery of the installation in preparation for the hurricane hitting it. Once the hurricane hit, we were able to use our resources to fly over the installation to get its current status from a visual aspect. To be able to help the engineers identify what the status of the facilities were and to prioritize what needed to be done with the installation in a very quick and precise manner. It is a, a team effort at the installation to meet their missions, which includes civilians, military, and contractors but the team works together to meet the need of that installation and it is our job to tool them and provide the resources for them to do that. GeoBase is 20 years old this year. Um, I see in the future uh, artificial intelligence becomes part of it, more autonomous uh, data collection. 3D is going to be a big part of it. Drones or uh, small unmanned aerial systems, high definition surveying using LIDAR, so light detection and ranging to identify elevation, and looking at the future of using ground systems to collect data. One of the things we're working on right now with the fire department is developing a way for it so on the map it pops up what is the roof made of, how many people are in the facility, what is the structure made of, what hazards are in the facility. So they don't have to go through their binder that they currently go through in many cases to find that information. It will automatically come up on the screen and that information is available to them using data that already exists. It's a smart map. This is very much an in-demand and it continues to grow. Uh, this will all be ubiquitous across the Air Force of having that location intelligence. New missions, new aircraft, new priorities will come along and the GeoBase program is flexible and able to provide that capability. The future is today. My name is Scott Anson and I'm a United States Air Force civil engineer.